Committee on Aviation and Aerospace Technology will investigate the controversy surrounding the Nigerian air project and address air crashes and safety anomalies in airports. And Chairman Honorable Abiyonu Akin Lade stated that the committee will engage with stakeholders to ensure Nigerians benefit from a highly innovative and productive aviation industry despite ongoing budget defense by various House committees. We will need support from the airline officials of Nigeria, the regulatory authorities organize an high tech stakeholders town hall meeting to look into the causes of the air crashes and other safety abnormalities at our various airports. Our air must be safe for all. I repeat, our air must be safe for all to fly. The Committee of Aviation, in conjunction with the House Committee of Aviation Technology, will look into the controversy surrounding the launch Nigeria Air Project and inform Nigeria accordingly. The the House Committee on FCT Area Councils is committed to addressing diverse issues, including agriculture, cultural festivals, resettlement schemes, and satellite town development. Joshua Rubika, representing Amak Buari Federal Constituency, has appealed for a special security intervention fund and intelligence gathering. Yes, the house court is used to identify and develop talents as well as education and health development. In all, as a committee, we shall take our oversight functions seriously to improve service delivery. Security is everybody's responsibility. I am totally dismayed at the total lack of coordinated effort by the estates, neighborhoods, and the communities in the FCT to form a bulk work against organized crimes. Night clause should be given a standard operational procedure. They should be required to install necessary electronic security surveillance gadgets in and around their places of business and as well as cater for the patrol by the security operatives with light arms like the Civil Defense Corps. As we enter into the festive season, there is, a, there is no doubt that crime is likely to spike. I appeal to the FCT Minister and the relevant security agencies to beef up security surveillance in the territory. The lawmaker identified several areas requiring urgent intervention in the FCT, including education sector reform, health, urban transportation, rural infrastructure, housing, and environment. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.